Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Good morning. Welcome to Tenderhearted Ministries. I am Evangelist Cynthia Lyons, and thank you for joining me today. God bless you. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. Praise God. Happy Mother Day. Mother's Day to all mothers. Amen. If you're expecting a baby, happy Mother's Day. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all those who stood in the gap. Amen. Who mothered children. Amen. You may not have bore your own children, but you've been there. Happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to my mother. I praise God that we still have our mother. Amen. And we so appreciate you, mom. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. And we praise God for you. Amen. Praise God. There is a word from the Lord. Praise God. There's a word from the Lord. So please, I hope you downloaded your Bible app. Download that Bible app. Praise God. I'm going to encourage you every week to do it because you know why? There's power in the word of God. So get your sword in your hand. Get your sword in your hand and go with me. There's one verse that I want to look at today and I want to be as quick as possible. I know everyone has plans. Hit that share button. You know what? I heard from Thailand. We have um, uh, viewers in Thailand, Germany, South Africa. Please hit that share button. You never know, amen, that people are inboxing and they're asking, what must they do to be saved? They're inboxing for prayer, amen. Some people are, you know, down and depressed and they need prayer. Please hit that share button, amen, because I will uh, contact them via, I inbox them right back, amen. Praise God, praise God. Hit that share button and go with me. Amen. I'm reading from the King James Version. One verse today. I'm looking at Proverbs 31. One verse and that's verse 10. Proverbs 31 verse 10. King James Version. And it reads, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. That's right. Amen. She's priceless. Amen. And that's what I want to talk about today. She's priceless. A Proverbs 31 woman is priceless. Amen. Looking at the first verse, verses uh, 1 through 9. Uh, it is King Lemuel. He He's the author, King Lemuel. And we don't know too much about Lemuel, but Lemuel was writing about the prophecy of his mother. This was a mother that was talking to her son and he wrote about it. He did not forget what his mother taught him. How many of you know mothers that we speak life into our children? Some of the words that we speak to our children, they never forget it. Amen. They raise their children. Amen. To to abide by what we teach them. Amen. This mother was speaking to her son and he wrote about it. And I'm sure this mother had no idea that the conversation between her and her son would set a precedence. Amen. For a godly woman, a Proverbs 31 woman is priceless. Amen. Lemuel mother was giving him guidance on finding a good woman, a good wife, a godly wife. That's what she was talking about. Amen. And I tell you this Proverbs 31 woman is priceless, priceless because she has character in virtue. Yes, because of her character in her virtue. Every woman should desire this. Every woman should have a high standard for themselves. Amen. She was telling him about finding a good wife. Amen. But how many of you know that all of us should possess these qualities? Yes, we should have this as, you know, we should use this as a standard. Amen. As a roadmap as to how to be a godly woman, single women, wives, even if you're married, married women, single women, if you're a mother or if you're not a mother, all of these characteristics 
characteristics are something that we should want to possess as a godly woman. Amen. She's priceless because this, first of all, this mother tells her son in those first few verses, she tells him how to carry himself. Yes, she does. She tells the man first. She talks to her son and she tells him not to give his strength to a woman. Yeah, not to give his strength to a woman, meaning some men are very weak for women. Yes, some men are very weak for women. I've known some men to throw away their entire house their entire home, their families for a one night stand. I see on the news all the time where these women go back to the hotel room and rob them blind. They go to sleep and wake up and these women have drugged them, stole wallets, jewelry, just stole everything from them. And they wake up, you know, because they've given all their strength to a woman, the wrong woman can destroy a man. Yeah, that's what this mother was telling her son. She was raising a king. Amen. She was pouring into him. She was speaking life to him. She she knew she was raising a king and she wanted him to be a godly king. So she told him the things that he should look for. She tells him to stay away from drink, strong drink, wine. You know, it's intoxicating and you can't think right. It clouds your thinking. So she was telling him, don't give your strength away to a woman and don't let anything else uh, control you except for God. The Holy Spirit comes to live on the inside of us and he guides and he leads. She was telling him to be a godly man. She tells him what to look for. She tells him that, you know, she's rare. You know what? She's rare. She's not in plain sight. No, no, no. She's not among the women of the street. She's not walking up and down on the street corners. Yeah, yeah. She's not revealing everything. I tell you, some of the attire that these women wear today, they reveal everything. They don't leave anything to the imagination. Amen. I'm not judging anyone because of their appearance, but basically mama was saying you can't bring everybody home. Amen. You can't bring everybody home. Everybody is not wife material proverbs let me see proverbs um 22 yeah proverbs 18 and 22 says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain a favor from the lord amen amen so Every woman should desire to be a Proverbs 31 woman and every man should desire to have a Proverbs 31 woman as a wife. His mother tells him to value her. Yeah, to value her because her price is far above rubies. Amen. She's not the average female. She walks in dignity and wisdom. She puts God first. She's devoted. She's courageous. She's compassionate. This Proverbs 31 woman, she's patient and she's kind. She, she, she has real love. She builds her man up and she don't tear him down. Amen. She does not tear him down. She is a godly woman. Amen. So his mom was giving him instructions on what to look for. She told him how to treat him. She's rare. She's precious. Amen. Even in Proverbs 31 and 28, it says her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Amen. A man should praise you. He should you know, build you up and add to you, not tear you down. Amen. This mother was telling him how to carry himself and she was telling him what to look for in a good godly woman. A Proverbs 31 woman is priceless. I'm a Proverbs 31 woman. Amen. And I'm sure you are. My mom is a Proverbs 31 woman woman. She is priceless. And I know that your mother is a Proverbs 31 woman. So love on your mother if you still have her. If she's transitioned, pray 
have a joy in your heart today and, and remember all of the good times. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for those mothers who have children have transition. I'm praying for you too today. I encourage you today that those memories are priceless. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. That is the word for today. Now, if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you can do that. Just lift your hands and say, I surrender and I want Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. Pray this prayer with me. Father God, I come repenting of my sins. I acknowledge that I am a sinner and I ask for forgiveness. I want Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. Your word declares that if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, that I shall be saved. So save me, Father God, in Jesus name I pray, amen. 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 If you prayed that prayer, you are saved. Welcome to the body of Christ. Please join me next week at 9 a.m. for a quick uplifting word. Come and walk in the word. It doesn't take long, just a few minutes. Give God a little bit of time and he will bless you. Amen. Now, I want to also encourage you to give. We want to be a blessing. Amen. Give Give to Tender Hearted Ministries. We give back. Amen. We give back. Praise God. Amen. 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 So join me next week. Walk in power. Walk in victory. Walk in love. Enjoy your Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you. Amen. <music>